Hey there, it's Dennis from BC Tesla Guy. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to update your Tesla Model 3 when you have an Agenix Boost 50 or Ghost module installed. So there are four steps that are required uh, to do this process safely. Step one is to go to the Ingenix website and validate that the software package is safe to install on your Tesla Model 3. Step two is to go into the Ingenix software and allow updates because by default it's turned off so you don't inadvertently install a piece of software. Step three is to install that piece of software from either your uh, mobile app or from inside the car. And step four is to turn off that allow updates again so that again you don't inadvertently install a piece of software when you don't want to uh, and it has not been verified by uh, Ingenix. So those are four basic real easy steps but you now need to do this every time an update is presented in your car. Now for the past three or four days, I've had the notification every time I get in my car that there's a new package available. But after checking the Ingenix website, it's just not there and not available to install safely. But this morning, the 2022.8.3 was verified by Ingenix. And so I'm going through this process, even though it's, it's only a step from 8.2 to 8.3, I wanted to create this video so that I could show you guys how easy it is to install the software. So let's get into it. Step two is to go onto the app in your car and enable updates. By default, it is turned off so that you don't inadvertently install a piece of software. So what you do is enable the software updates, install that piece of software, and then turn that function back off so that you don't make a mistake. So I'll go through that and let's just go ahead and take a look at the app. So as you can see under the software uh, button, there's a software package that's available and it's 2022.8.3. So I can't install it right now because my allow updates is turned off within the application. So all you're gonna do is allow updates. Here's the screenshot that they present once you enable that functionality. And you can see from it, they're warning you that you need to make sure that it's a safe update from their website and that you are basically responsible for the whole thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna accept that. And so now my update is now allowed. And you can see I, I use the automatic door function. I, I love that. So over here, I can now go ahead. And this is what I've been seeing the last few days is that I can now install this update. So I'm gonna install it now. And we've got two minutes to wait. Just, I guess they're giving you a chance to not update it if you don't want to. So there's the screen that you're gonna see and you can cancel it if you want. I have verified that the 2022.8.3 is a valid software update for my Tesla Model 3. So we'll just wait for that. And then once the install is done, then I would go back onto this app and turn off the allow update so that I don't inadvertently update my software. So I'll do the update, then we'll come back and we'll turn this off. Okay, now that the software has been updated, you get presented with the release notes, which is the standard uh, thing that happens when you install your updates. You're gonna go onto the Ingenix app and you're just gonna turn off allow updates. And now your car will not update until you turn this back on. So this is just a safety feature. So here are my final thoughts with the updating of the software on my Tesla Model 3 after installing the Agenix uh, Boost 50. So it's pretty simple. There's four quick, easy steps, but now I need to wait. Instead of like getting a notification that the new package is available and I can quickly go ahead and install it, you do need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network for the software package to be downloaded and installed 
just like normal, but now I need to go and verify that the software is good and then enable that uh, ability to update the software and then install software, which is the same thing that I would do normally. And then step four, which is disabling that function of updating the software. Um, so those steps are there to protect you and to protect your car from getting bricked. So yeah, it's a bit of an inconvenience, but not that bad. You will have to wait. I would recommend that you wait for uh, the software package to be verified and validated by Ingenix before installing it. Now I know there are some people out there that they just install it and it seems to work and fine, but there's gonna be a time somewhere in the future where that's just not gonna happen. It's going to be a brick situation. So don't go there. Just wait, play it safe, verify the software, enable the updates, install it, disable the updates and do that. Now you don't have to catch every update that's there. I just wanted to go through this so I could show you guys how easy it is. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos.